Minecraft data packs are complicated and can take weeks to perfect and refine, but today I'm going to challenge myself to make a data pack in 1 minute, 10 minutes and an hour, just to see how much I can make in varying amounts of time. Now, so the data packs aren't too different, they will all follow the theme of weapons. Let's get started. Okay, so just to make it fair, I've already set up just like a base data pack with a load and tick function for the one minute challenge, otherwise I wouldn't even be able to set up a data pack and that it would be kind of boring. So my idea for this uh, one minute challenge is just to create a carrot on a stick that you right click and then it will kill every entity other than you within a 10 block radius, which obviously isn't a very detailed weapon or anything, but it's about all I can do in one minute. And go. Okay, so we need to give ourselves a, oh, I always do that carrot on a stick and needs to have kill aura 1b okay now in our code we need to do scoreboard objectives add right click used carrot on stick and then in our tick function we need to do execute as all players with the scores equals uh, right click equals one or more and then mbt selected item and we're just going to do the tag check okay at s run kill all entities with distance equals 0 0.1 dot dot 10 oh well now that's only going to one minute is really not enough even to code a simple thing like that didn't even finish typing the second command Okay, but now let's uh, go back and reload. So now, if we summon a pig, it just kills it straight away because I accidentally right-clicked it earlier, um, so we already had the score. But yeah, basically, no matter where it is, unless it's right on us because we made it so that it won't kill us because it has to be a little bit further away from us. But yeah, that is just like the worst data pack thing I've ever seen. But it kind of makes sense because I only made it in one minute. Okay, well, that was a complete failure. Now let's see if we can move on and make something a little bit better in the 10 minute challenge. Okay, so for the 10 minute challenge, I just set up a new data pack here. And I think I'm going to create a bow that when you shoot it and when the arrow lands, it will basically create a tornado that will suck in entities within a five block radius and then maybe it will kill itself after like 30 seconds or something. Okay, so let us just get rid of this and we will start the challenge and go. Okay, so um, here we have a little bit more breathing space. So we'll give ourselves a diamond sword. Oops, no, we're not doing a sword. We're doing a bow and it's going to have uh, a display of and then we have tag of tornado 1b okay that the uh, display didn't work uh maybe it's just name hmm okay um maybe i'll use mc stacker then so then we just generate a slash give command i probably should be a little bit quicker with this because Still only 10 minutes, and 10 minutes isn't a long time. So custom tags, that's the, that's the most important bit. Tornado 1B, and then I'm just going to have a name of Tornado Bow, and maybe we'll make it kind of grey, and then we can have it bold and not italic. Let's see, then we can just do this. Okay, Tornado Bow. So, now we do scoreboard, objectives, add, shoot, bow, used bow. Okay, so now we're going to execute as all players with the tag, not tag, scores of shoot bow, one or more. And we're going to run tag. All entities with the type of any kind of arrow and sort equals nearest limit equals one and then we also need to add um, mbt of in ground 0b and we will tag them with 
tornado arrow and we need to add that so I'm just going to copy paste that and change it to be in the offhand so actually I'm not going to do that now, I'm not going to waste time I'll, so then I'll execute as all entities with type equals any kind of arrow and tag of tornado arrow and the mbt in ground 1b at that s run function 10 min is the namespace tornado slash start okay then we need to um let's see first we're going to run function tornado no sorry 10 min colon tornado slash loop but before that we're going to do scoreboard players set as tornado time zero and we're going to add tornado time and it will be a dummy so then that will say how long it's been doing tornado time and then we need to do loop.mc function okay so then we need to do execute as all players with the hang on we don't actually need this we can just put this in so all entities with this same as this at s if score at s tornado time matches and it's 30 seconds that is 600 ticks or more then we're going to kill, uh, actually instead of killing them we'll just tag uh, s rem remove tornado arrow. Okay so then we do that and then we're going to as all entities uh, with a distance of less than five blocks and we want to do type equals not arrows. We might add some more checks later if we have some time. And then we're going to run tp at s, actually instead of eyes, will be feet. I don't think it will actually make a difference, but tp at s, carrot, carrot, carrot. And we're going to go like 0 0.2. And then we need to do scoreboard players, add all of these entities, and add the tornado time, and add 1. We, instead of doing this, we can just, we just do that because it's only one command. Now if we reload, it works. So now if we summon a pig, do it there. Okay, nice. Um, so let's, let's make it maybe distance equals less than three. Okay, so inside 10 minutes, we're gonna add something called tags and then entity types, except that needs to be a folder. Need to, okay, well, fine that was 10 minutes uh so we got something working if we reload we have our tornado bow it might have actually been better as five but um let's see just make sure that they after 30 seconds despawn or not despawn sorry just like stop sucking them in so let's see if this pig will get released eventually so it doesn't seem like he's being released yeah it just despawned Okay, it doesn't seem to be adding tornado time to it. Anyway, we can't do anything. Oh, I know why. It's because it's because we didn't because it resets at zero every time. Okay, well, it's not bad for a ten minute creation. I mean, I probably could have done better, like if I'd fixed that mistake, and I might have been able to add the entity types if we didn't spend too long on the on the name of it at the beginning and go into MC Stacker and stuff. But overall, it's not too bad. And now I'm excited. We get to create something proper with the one hour data pack. So let's see what we can make. One hour, one full hour. You can get quite a lot done in that. So I'm thinking of making a kind of simple pistol. Maybe we can even, if we have enough time, make some sound effects and a custom texture. Okay, well, let's just get started then. Um go okay so we're going to actually let's do this in mc stacker to make it quicker we're gonna give ourselves a warp 
Bolt's fungus on a stick. Let's see, there it is. And it's going to be called pistol. Now we want it to have gun 1B because we're not going to be making anything else in this data pack really. So, And custom model data, we will add this if we type that in. Maybe it's better if we give us a command block and paste it in there so we have the command. So here is our pistol. We're going to add a scoreboard called, I'm going to call it gun.rightclick because we already added a right click scoreboard in our one minute one and it's going to be used warped fungus on a stick. We're going to execute as all players with the scores of gun.rightclick one or more an MVT of selected item ID warp fungus on a stick and the tag of gun, sorry, gun 1B. Okay, at IS, and we're going to run a function raycast slash start. So now I'm just going to quickly create a raycast function. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to make a video on raycasting because it's quite useful sometimes. <music> Okay, so I've got a kind of basic raycast working. You can kind of see where the gun goes. Maybe we'll just play an explosion sound. Well, no, it has an explosion sound. Probably later, if we have time, then we can get some custom sounds and make a custom gun shooting sound, but that will do for now. Okay, so now we need to work on the hit function. work it works okay it doesn't seem to drop anything for some reason we can't seem to get a consistent way to do it so i guess it just won't drop anything the question is now what is there to do next so probably what we should do is we should check because we don't want to for example if we summon a pig and then we do like see it you can see that the particles don't go past the painting and if we destroy this then yeah so it, it is colliding with the paintings and arm stands and books and stuff, even though it might not actually be hitting them. We're going to add some tags. In here we check for type equals not power colon no hit. So it just goes straight through the painting basically. But it still hits blocks and even if for example we just heard like a sapling it's still going to hit that block and stop so we probably want to make a list of blocks that it can go through i'm just going to fill in a bunch of blocks that i think it should just go through Okay, so I've added a good few things here. Yeah, I think these are probably like some of the most common ones. There might be some more that I need to add, but I, to be honest, we probably only have like half an hour left, so I don't want to spend too much time on this. Okay, yeah, that, that is working. It is shooting through the carpet. One last thing I want to do is add ammo. Okay, so we're going to do if score at s has ammo one or more and we're going to add that scoreboard okay now i don't think i've showed this in any of my videos before but the way that you check if they have any ammo in their inventory is you can do execute as all players and we're going to store the result onto the scoreboard of that player has ammo and we're going to clear at s command block because that's what going to be the, the ammo is going to be and we're going to have ammo 1b. Instead of clear it, we just clear zero of it. So that will basically, it won't do anything to your inventory, but 
it will store the amount that you have in your inventory onto the has ammo scoreboard and then in start we just need to we can just copy this here and we just clear one of them okay so now it will do nothing but then if we give and let's just give us 64 now it clears ammo out of our inventory okay nice that is basically all the mechanics now we can work on the resource pack so i think we have about 20 minutes left so hopefully we can get something pretty good done <laughs> Okay, and here is our pistol model. I think that looks alright. And now the last thing we're going to do, just to finish everything off, is we're going to get a custom sound. So I'm just going to go to the YouTube audio library. Okay, now if we're going to sound effects and search for gun. Let's get this one out. Okay, so now we just need to copy this, paste it into our data pack. Okay, well, we have a shooting sound now. The last thing to do would be to make a texture for the ammo, and I'll see if I can do that, but we'll probably run out of time because we only have like five minutes left. <laughs> okay, so that is our gun and our ammo and we made that in it almost exactly an hour i think there's like one minute left or something just shows you can create quite a lot in an hour if you really focus and you know put effort into it i mean yeah this is a pretty oh there you go it was yeah we were pretty much exactly on time to make everything correctly i mean i'm sure given more time i could refine this pistol a little bit but that's a pretty good item and i made it in one hour one sitting you know if i did an hour a day then i could easily get a data pack done in like a couple of weeks and if you want to learn how to make custom items like the ones that i made in this video uh, check out this playlist here which teaches you all you need to know about custom items